Hello, it's Eve here, and welcome to Radio Headspace. So, how did you sleep last night? Were you able to drift off? Or were you tossing and turning? Stress is one of the biggest causes of our sleep issues. So in today's episode, I wanted to talk more about what happens in the body when we experience stress, and why stress is so good at keeping us awake. For so many of us, when that time comes to switch out the light and our head hits the pillow, our mind goes into overdrive. And in some cases, it can also feel like a very physical experience, a feeling of restlessness in the body. And sleep can feel really far away. And when you do fall asleep, there's a high chance that you'll wake up again. The body is just not letting you rest. The other night, I was woken up in the middle of the night with the bed shaking. Now, growing up in Scotland, we did not have earthquakes. Well, I mean, I'm sure we did, but they were so far down, you never felt them. But here in California, they're a way of life. You do feel them. But no matter how long I've lived here, they're still scary when they strike in the middle of the night. And my whole body was tense. I could feel my heart rate going up. That feeling where you can almost feel the blood running through your veins. And I obviously wanted to know where it originated from. So grab my phone, which only added to my stress. As it turns out, it was really close by. And because I'm still not really that used to earthquakes, I then started researching the odds of a bigger one coming which only compounded what I was feeling in my body, and it was really not helping the situation. Now, my body's stress response did what it was supposed to do, and I'll come on to the stress response in a moment. But in continuing to feed it, it just made me feel worse. In those moments of high stress, it is so easy to get caught up in the situation, to continue to fuel the fire after the event has happened. And... We can sometimes do that for a long time. Thankfully, I was able to catch myself just as I was about to start texting friends at 4 a.m. with links to all these articles about a big one happening. And I realized that all that catastrophizing was just not helping. So I put down my phone and I did some deep breathing exercises that signaled to my brain that the perceived threat was over and I did get back to sleep. Now, stress can be a result of many different internal and external factors, and it will vary greatly for each of us. Work stress, relationships, earthquakes. There's a lot about life that is very challenging. When we experience stress, our body's fight or flight system is triggered. The body releases a number of stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, essentially preparing the body to counter threats by increasing heart rate and circulation, which keeps the mind in a high state of vigilance. It is quite literally designed to keep you awake. And look, stress is not inherently good or bad. In some instances, it can help us to stay alert and focused. And in other instances, we may feel a nervous energy maybe when going on a first date or doing a presentation. Those are all normal feelings and are totally okay. The problem arises when we are constantly responding to situations as if we are under threat. And those perceived threats, to-do lists, family responsibilities, work issues, don't just go to sleep when you do. Of course, if something happens in the night that wakes you up like an earthquake, you're going to want to check that everyone is okay, everyone's safe. Just try to notice how much you are further feeding the event or the moment, and maybe try some deep breathing exercises like I did. And for those difficult moments in the day, practicing meditation and mindfulness is a great way to help manage the stress we may experience. Stress was the number one reason I was not able to sleep through the night. 
and for quite a few years it had a huge impact on my health. I tried everything, but meditation was the one activity that truly helped to settle my mind and body. Now I can say I not only fall asleep quickly most nights, but I stay asleep. Again, I say most nights because sometimes there are earthquakes. But it's my relationship to them that has shifted, and it's through that that my relationship with sleep has shifted as well. 